Hello there. It's your sophisticated sounding Brummie here again with another short video. Now, while I was working on the Team Rotor XL training series, where I utilized the link picture functionality, this gave me an idea for this short video on dynamic pictures, as in a graphic that changes based on a formula or based on user input, like a traffic light, for example. And don't worry, there's no visual basic required. So if you look at these two graphics within Excel, so these are pictures that I've created. So if I shrink them down a little bit, and I move them like so, look what happens when I interact with the spreadsheet. So if I take this drop down and change it to amber, you see the picture changes. If I go to green, it changes. And again, uh, down here, I've got a score, a compliance score. So if I score 20% compliance, the traffic light reacts accordingly, like so. Wonderful. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this using some icons, some shapes within Excel, the data validation and name ranges, along with the ifs function and the indirect function. So keep watching and let's go through it step by step. Let's do this. So I've got this blank Excel workbook. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create some calculations in here. So, and also, and create the drop down as well in the data validation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to put type rag score here. And then here I'm gonna type compliance score. And then using the styles here on the home ribbon, I'm just gonna put that as a check score, put that as a check score, and let's just expand that out. Now, within here, I want this to be data validation. So it's gonna be red, amber, green in the drop down. So I'm gonna go data, data validation, list, and then I'm gonna type red, comma, amber, comma, green, and hit return. And now I've got that drop down. So let me just set that to green there. And I'm going to center it as well, like so. And again, I'm just gonna put this as single grid lines on the borders, like so. Now let's take the compliance score. So I'm gonna set this cell to be um, a percentage. So I'm gonna set it as a percentage and I'm going to put 100 there, just for now. And again, let's just put the borders around that. Now I'm going to put a calculation here below this uh, and I'm gonna use the ifs function. So this is where you can do multiple statements and without having to do nested if function. So I'm gonna go equals if, so I F S open bracket. And my first logical test is if this score is equal to or less than 20%, then remember when you are outputting a text value, you need to put in, in quotation marks, red. Then I'm gonna use the AND function here, within here. So the AND function, you both statements have to be true. So if I type AND, so if this value is greater than 20%, comma, or AND if this value is equal to or less than 80%, and close that bracket. So if both those statements are true, then I'm gonna go amber. 
And then for my final logical test is if this value is greater than 80%, then green. like so and then close bracket so those are all my tests within the ifs function the ifs function and return so at the moment so that works as far as the drop down is concerned and this if i do 20 percent calculates if i do 40 percent it goes amber if i do 81 percent it goes green so that calculates correctly so now i've got my my calculations right i'm now going to look at my um, my named ranges so the first thing i'm going to do now in my name ranges is i'm going to use the indirect function uh, now if you remember the indirect function translates a text value into a range so what i'm going to do here is I am going to first of all do the first named range. So I'm going to go manager, I'm going to do new, and I'm going to do R rag, like so. And then in the, the refers to, I'm going to do the up arrow here, and then I'm going to type equals in direct open bracket and I'm going to point it to this cell here where I've got the drop down and close bracket and then I'm going to hit the down arrow to enter it so there's my name range R rag do OK so that's my first one I'm then going to do another one for the compliance score so I'm going to do new and I'm going to do R score and again the up arrow and I'm going to type equals indirect open bracket and i'm going to point it to this cell here and then close that bracket and hit the down arrow to enter it and then click ok so i've now got my two name ranges that are calculating using the indirect function right so now i've got to tell it what to do with those so i'm going to call this sheet my let's rename that as my Let's call it dashboard. And hit enter there. So let's create a new sheet now where we're going to create our graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call rename this and call it my traffic light graphics. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an icon and I'm going to search for traffic and there you go there's the traffic light icon so I'm going to select that and then hit insert boom so I've now got this icon here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, control copy and then control paste control V so I've got one and then do it again so I've got three three of them and what I'm going to do is I am going to expand these columns make them wider so this fits inside neatly like so and what I'm going to do is get them centralized and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the alt key down so it snaps there you go So get them lined up in the cells, and this, you'll understand why in a minute. So that snaps there as well. So I've got the first one that makes make this higher. Make this hold down the alt key. So it just snaps, and that looks about right to me. And all I'm going to do is shrink this down so they look more central within, within that column, like so. Then I'm going to draw my rag colours, my, my red, my amber, and my green and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go insert and then I'm going to go onto my shapes and I'm going to select a circle so if I take this circle here and just draw a little circle 
like so. And then I'm going to make that circle and I'm going to copy that three times. So control, copy, and then paste it. And again, paste it again, like so. So I've got three of them. So I want red, first of all. So again, on the, the fill, so on the shape format, I'm going to do the fill as a red. On this one, I'm going to make it amber, like so. And then this one, I'm going to make it a green. There. So what I'm going to do now to make this easier for myself as well is over here on the zoom on my spreadsheet, I'm just going to make this bigger for myself. If I make this bigger so I can see what I'm doing, then all I'm going to do now is I am going to line these up. So this one's going to be red. So if I take this and put it there like so, uh, and I take the amber, put it on amber. Then take the green and put it on green like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, select the traffic light icon and bring that to the front. So right click on it and bring it to the front. Right click on this and bring it to the front. And then right click again and bring it to the front. And then all I'm going to do again, just make it a little bit bigger so I can see it, is I'm just looking at this here and just making sure that that and if you can see now the shape, I can use the arrow keys just to move it, just to make sure there's no overlap in the areas. Again, take this one, do the same thing. That's fine. So all I'm making sure is this circle here, I can see that colour. And again, take the red. Again, I'm just going to move that. So again, just looks fine. Great. And then I'm going to put that back down to 100% so I can see the spreadsheet again. Now, now I'm happy with that is I'm going to select the first traffic light so the cells behind it, like so, and I'm going to type red. So when you select multiple cells, like I've just done here, and if I enter some text here and hit red and return, that's now created a name range called red. If I do the same for the amber traffic light, and do amber and hit return, and then finally for the green traffic light, and do green and hit return. Now, if I select the red traffic light, so the cells behind the red traffic light, light, kind of red there, and what I'm going to do also on the view, I'm just going to get rid of the grid lines because I don't want them showing up on the graphic. I then go Control Copy, and I then go to my dashboard, and I right click and I paste a linked picture like so. And I do control, let's make that a little bit bigger. And then control copy of that. And then uh, and paste, just do another paste of that. So I've done my two, my two linked pictures and you can see with, with the linked picture selected, you can see there's the formula. So if I change this formula now to be equals R rag, and hit return, that now changes based on what's selected in here. Because if you remember, we created the indirect function as a name range and we refer to this. So that indirect function is turning that text reference red to a range reference. And also we've got a name range that's called red or amber or green, so it changes accordingly. And same with this, we've got a name range using the indirect function that's pointing to this score here. So again, if I change this formula to refer to the R score name range we created, and hit return, it's now 
pointing to this green here. So if I change that to 20%, this calculates and sets it to red, where this traffic light reacts accordingly. So, and if I put that to 70%, again, it changes, or 90%, it changes accordingly. So I can make that just white there, so it's not seen. And now I've got, again, if I just take this here, if I select, if I select this here, just get this lined up where I want it to be. And I then, on the control key, select this shape as well. In fact, let me just move this down a little bit. So select that, select that with the holding the control key, then go to page layout. And then I'm going to do a line. I'm going to align through the center. So there are lines. And using the arrow key, just move them to the left slightly. And there you go. I have interactive link pictures that react to formulas or drop downs within my spreadsheet. I hope this gives you some interesting ideas of how you can use interactive pictures using the linked picture functionality within your own spreadsheets, maybe on dashboards, for example. And remember, if you like these videos and you find them useful, please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and send me ideas in the comments on videos you'd like to see. Anyway, I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You take care. Bye-bye now.